Modeling a bullet turned out to be quite involved. We needed a lot of calculus. We took four important steps. You need to take those steps in every modeling problem. So let us take a look at our steps in general and summarize what they meant in the case of our problem in this video. So what's the first step? You always start drawing a, f a figure to get some feeling for the problem. So step one, draw your figure. Here it is, where you put all your information. You had your uh, bullet going up first, you, and where you put your frictional force and your gravity counteracting uh, the velocity. And then in the second step, you are going down. So now gravity is uh, increasing the velocity and your fl uh, frictional forces again counteracting. Uh, find all the relevant forces over here. And then you uh, have translated your real life problem your bullet going up first and going down next. Uh, you have translated this uh, real life problem in terms of some physics. Uh, let's summarize the physics. So what do, do we have? Going up, uh, Newton's law uh, uh, equals total force, uh, gravity and friction. Uh, uh, specify the initial conditions. And then going upwards, you have fully specified your problem. You have differential equation for V and initial condition for V, differential equation for X and initial condition for X. So your uh, problem is fully specified now. Then when you're up, you're going down. Again, you need a differential equation for V and initial condition for V. So you know your V now. And you have a differential equation for X and initial condition for X. So you have also full spatial your problem if you're going down. So first check that. Do you have enough differential equations? Do you have enough initial conditions to fully specify your problem? Think about the physics, physics first before you embark on all the mathematics. Because then comes the mathematical part. And it may look this mathematical part may look difficult now, but actually this first problem is in practice much harder. Ma mathematics is just technicalities. Well, actually, quite a lot of technicalities in step three. The mathematics solve the initial value problem, either analytically as we did, or maybe in practice you often have to do it numerically. And you find some solution. In the up, uh, problem going up, we had some solution for the v as function of t. So we had an expres expression for that. In terms of parameters which meant something, like the v equilibrium, like the v zero. All your constants in your problem should mean something. I have some physical interpretation in the end. So when you have your solution, you wrap up and interpret the results. So up we got a total going up of four and a half seconds and a height of 228 meters. And that made sense to us. It made physical sense, those numbers. And going down similarly at 10 seconds and minus 29 meters per second. And also and that makes sense. It time going down is longer than the time going up. Because if you start up, sorry, if you, st if you start, you have a very high velocity, so you go fast up. If you are up, you start with velocity zero, and due to this big frictional force, you will never reach this big velocity again, so it takes longer to go down. So always look back to see whether you really understand the final results you got in terms of your physical intuition.